Hello everyone, welcome back to second episode of Airbus A320 simulator series. In this video we are going to look at the exterior walk around of 320. If you haven't checked the first episode, I would suggest you to watch it now from the iCard before you continue. Because the whole series is based on the sequential operations of Airbus. Alright guys, so moving ahead with this video. The purpose of the walk around is to check the conditions that could compromise the safety of the flight. It is vital to perform this task correctly, otherwise the consequences could be very serious. Guys, I would like to tell you that since the simulator is not perfect as the real one in cosmetics, there is a panel or two missing with magnetic fuel level indicators, so I am going to skip them in the video. So we start the inspection from the forward left fuselage, here we check that the captain's angle of attack probe and the standby angle of attack probe is not damaged. We check captain FO static port covers are removed and is clear of any debris. Next, ensure that the avionics equipment ventilation inlet is not damaged or blocked in any way. Then we check oxygen bay is closed and our oxygen discharge indicator is green in color. Then check pitot covers are removed and probes are not damaged or blocked in any case. On the nose section, check that the standby static port is clear. Then under the nose, we check both our total air temperature probes are not damaged or blocked. The DME1 antenna is clean forward avionics compartment is closed our ground electrical door is open since it's in use then we check the radon structure for any kinds of damages or cracks which could be basically due to bird strikes or lightning ensure that the radon is latched properly moving a little back we should get even more clear picture then we move to nose landing gear and we check that the wheel chocks are in place for now then we check the condition of the tires for uh, and he cuts your cracks all around. We check the overall condition of the nose gear structure. Then we check our lights. We have got takeoff light here, tax light on left, and two turn off lights. We check for any burnt bulbs or any cracks, and everything looks good here. Since we have parking brake on, our parking brake light is illuminated. Next, we check that the safety pin is removed, it is inserted in here. This is quite crucial if the pin is left inserted we will not be able to retract our gas after takeoff. So we need to make sure that it is removed before the flight. Then check the hydraulic lines for any leakages and check the electrical wirings. On the right hand side check the standby static port is clear. Check pitot cover is removed and check for any damage or blockage. Check both our avionics compartment doors are closed. Check the condition of avionics equipment ventilation air outlet valve. Check Captain FO static port is clean and covers are off. Up here we check that the first officer's angle of attack probe is in good condition. Cargo door is closed. Then down to lower center fuselage we check that the antennas are clean. Uh, basically these two are the ATC antennas and this one is DME2. Then on the left we have TCAS which is traffic collusion avoidance system. Check the condition. This here is our portable water drain panel which is closed cargo door selective panel is also closed. Then we check the condition of our drain mast. This here is marker antenna which looks good. Then we check our emergency ram air inlet which is closed and in good condition. Here we have low pressure and high pressure ground connector for which the doors are closed. Then right here we have our pack air intakes. Make sure both of them are clear of any blockages. Check the condition of anti-collision light. Check center tank magnetic fuel level is flush. Up next we check that our both pack air outlets are clear. Moving forward we check that the yellow hydraulic bay door is closed. This here is our landing light uh, which is retracted. Check for any damages. Here on the leading edge we check the slat 1 condition. On the left hand side of engine 2 we check the oil fill access door is closed. Fan cowling door is closed and latched. Thrust reversers are closed and latched as well. Under the engine we check for the condition of the drain mast and check for no leakage. So this is our CFM 56.5 Bravo high bypass turbofan engine. We check for the engine inlet and 36 blades for any damages or any deformation. Also check for unusual sounds by blades. Then check ventilation inlet and engine anti-ice outlet is free from blockages. 
the pressure relief and start valve handle access door is closed. Check fan cowling is closed and latched. Thrust reversers are also closed and latched. We check the condition of pylon and panels are closed. At the exhaust we check for any blockage or leakage around the thrust reversers door actuators and we check the conditions of the stator blades. Check exhaust outlet is clear. On the right hand side of the wing leading edge we check for the condition of remaining slats. Then we check that the refueling coupling is closed. Up next we need to check that fuel ventilation over pressure disc is intact. We have two of them. One is right here. And then the surge tank air inlet should be clear. Then we go to the wing tip and we check that our navigation and strobe lights are not damaged. And same goes for the condition of the wing tip. After that we check that our static dischargers are not damaged or missing. We check that our aileron is in good shape and it's hanging down as there is no hydraulic power. Alright guys at this point of time we get a clear picture of the antennas above the fuselage. These includes basically the VHF, ADF, GPS and ELT antennas. Moving towards the root of the wing we see that our flaps and the fairings are in good shape. Then we have right main landing gear we see that chocks are in place. We check for the condition of the tire for cuts and cracks and we can check our brake fan from here. Ok guys after that we check the conditions of our brakes and brake wear indicator. Then we have a look at the structure of the landing gear and any leakages from the hydraulic lines. Moving to the front of the landing gear we check the condition of torque link damper. Then we check the down lock spring. Check that this safety pin is removed. Again if it's not removed before flight we will not be able to retract our landing gears after takeoff. Under the fuselage we check that short fuel drain is not damaged or there is no leakage from it. This is our VHF2 antenna, make sure it's not damaged. Then these four are the radio altimeter antennas, two of them are receivers and two of them are transmitters, make sure they are very much clean. Check door selector panel is closed, well the cargo door is closed and the bulk door is closed as well. Then check for any damages or blockage on our outflow valve. Toilet service access door is closed. After that we check the condition of the drain mast. This is our flight recorder access door. Just make sure that it's closed. Moving to the empennage of the aircraft we have a close look at the horizontal stabilizer, elevator, fins and rudder for any cracks or damages which could happen during the takeoff or landing run. Then we check that there are no missing or damaged static dischargers. Then on the tail we check the exhaust is clear and the navigation light is functioning and is not damaged. After checking the lower fuselage structure we move to APU. We check that the APU access door is closed, drain has got no leakages. Then we check the condition of the APU air intake. Next we check our oil cooler air outlet is clear. Then we check the red disc of fire extinguisher over pressure indicator is in place. Then coming to the left side we do the inspection of the empennage again. Then we walk along the lower fuselage and check for any doors or panels open and check for any tail strikes. On the belly of the aircraft we see that rat housing is closed. Then here we check that the ground hydraulic connections for green and blue pump is closed. Then we continue with the inspection on the left landing gear, left engine, wheels trailing and leading edges just as we did on the right side. Also guys I would like to add that we might not find every panel closed on ground while we do the walk around as the ground staff or the maintenance crew might be using those panels for the operations. Alright guys that was all for the second episode of the series. Hope you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe the channel for more such videos. In the third episode, we will look into the cockpit preparation procedures followed by FMGS setup. Do press the bell icon for the instant notification on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and see you until the next time.